So let's start with this uh, uh, Inflation Reduction Act, as yeah. they're, they're styling it. Yeah. And I guess my basic question is, you and I have talked before, you are concerned about the deficit. You're concerned about getting the deficit down. If you knew, if you believe this would do that, would you be in favor of it? No, not, not doing it this way, and I'm very doubtful that this is actually going to accomplish that. <clears throat> if you look at what this consists of, David, right, it's a very significant corporate tax increase mostly focused on manufacturers, which is a bad idea. It's combined with price controls on prescription drugs, which is both unnecessary and a very, very bad idea and a terrible precedent. And the money is mostly going to go to subsidizing corporate welfare for green energy companies, for wealthy people to buy Teslas, and for relatively affluent people to get a political payoff that's pretty blatant in the form of the subsidies for Obamacare for three more years. That's this package. And I've been asking myself, what does Joe Manchin get out of this? And of course, his answer is, oh, we're going to streamline the permitting process. Oh, really? We've seen no bill. We have no text. They're not putting it in this bill. And we have not identified the 10 Democrats that would have to join with 50 Republicans if there actually were a constructive permitting uh, expedition process, you know, exp uh, the process were expedited. And the fact is, most Democrats don't want to expedite permitting for fossil fuels. They want to keep it in the ground. They don't want to facilitate the infrastructure to move it around. So I am very, very dubious about it. So this. let's come back to the, to the deficit reduction part of it, because sure. the way they pencil out on something like $400 billion you produce over 10 years, you're questioning that yeah. as a practical matter. What in the math doesn't add up to you? So what I'm skeptical about, uh, a couple things. First of all, I think the fact that they undo effectively undo one of the most constructive things we did in the 2017 tax reform, which is allow full expensing of CapEx, is going to lead to an economic slowdown. How constructive was that? Because I went back and looked at some of the numbers yeah. on Bloomberg, and, and the numbers bounce around on CapEx, but they didn't clearly go up under the 2017 uh, Act. I, I thought there was an increase, and I think there is an increase. And, and if you think about it, we lower the cost of capital expenditure, right? The after-tax cost goes down. If you lower the cost of something, all else being equal, it's it's likely that there'll be more of it. They're definitely going to raise the cost of CapEx, and that's why the Joint Tax Committee believes that half of this whole burden is going to fall on uh, manufacturers. Uh, so that's, that's one aspect. The other thing is they use this great Washington fiction of counting 10 years' worth of tax revenue increases against three years of expenditures in a program that they fully intend to be permanent. I'm referring to the Obamacare subsidies. You know, the way they pencil that in, it all goes away in three years. We know that's not going to happen, in part because the last time they did this, they extended it for two years. The two years is about up. So what are they doing? Right before the election, extended another three. That's going to continue. In fairness, when you talk about they, Republicans have been known to do that as well. There was some of that in the 2017 Act as well, as I recall. Uh, okay, both sides uh, have <laughs> been guilty of budget gimmicks from time to time. There's no question about it. Uh, but you asked me about this bill, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's enough. why I'm very doubtful. What about, about IRS? enforcement. Why shouldn't we do what we can to make sure people pay their taxes? Uh, yeah, I, I think if it's done properly, you can defend that. I think the IRS does have antiquated systems, and, and there should be investment in upgrading that. But if it's going to be about harassing a lot of small business guys, uh, I, I'm not sure that's very constructive. 